Hello, we will be using a Birkhoff PLC model number CX8090 and a Hako HMI model number V806ICD. This is the 24 volts DC power supply. The plus and minus of the power supply has to be connected in this way as shown. This may vary with your design. The grey terminal is to help split the current into two. One wire will go into the plastic terminals, while the other will go into the PLC. For the PLC, the red wire is connected to the red positive input, while the black wire is connected to the blue negative output. Make sure that the HMI is connected to the correct voltage supply. Connect the Ethernet cables to the switch. Insert the wires to the appropriate module I.O. These are some of the modules. If you want to know more, go to the Berkhoff website. Please be sure about the type of modules you are using. To start configuration, first under System Configuration, click on the Choose Target button, followed by Broadcast Search. The PLC you are using should appear within the list that is generated. In our case, it is the CX18A927. Select it and click on Add Route. Enter the required information and click OK to continue. If successful, an X should appear under the connected column. Next, enter the CX setting tab and change the AMS Net ID to any preferred IP address. Change the computer's IP address to a static IP address. Once done, you can restart Twincat system in config mode. Right click IO devices and select scan devices. Deselect the options which are not the PLC in use and click OK. Click Yes on the Activate Free Run dialog box. Count the number of modules. If the number does not correspond with the number of modules present physically, then try resetting the modules and search again. Restart TwinCAT system in Run mode. To test the configuration, start TwinCAT PLC control. Create a new project, select DXARM as the target system type and ladder diagram for the language of the POU. Open the global variable tab on the left. To create an output variable, enter the variable name followed by at percent QX 0.0 followed by the variable type, for example, boolean. The number coming after Q will need to be increased depending on how many variables are added. For an input variable, replace the Q with an I. Now add two coils in the ladder diagram, output LED 1 and 2. Then go online, select the PLC Choose Runtime 1 and Run. The output coils should be activated. Log out from the PLC. Save the PLC program. Change over to the System Manager. Right click on PLC Configuration and click Append PLC Project. Choose the TPY save file created earlier. Under Standard, go into Inputs and Outputs to ensure that the previously defined variables are present and allocated to an address. Under IO Devices, find the Digital Input and Output modules of the PLC and under the Variable tab, bind the output variables to the channels. Restart the System Manager in Config mode. Head back to the PLC control, go online and run the program again. The corresponding lights on the PLC should light up. 